Okay guys, I used Pennzoil Platinum last time, so when we drop the oil this time, what I'm dropping out of the vehicle is Pennzoil Platinum, and we are going in with Mobile One. I apologize for the audio on the last take, I didn't, un I didn't realize this first portion right here was not in it, so I'm just redoing it. So again, just for the people that are confused, Pennzoil Platinum is in the motor right now, and I'm about to take it out. What I experienced with the Pennzoil Platinum, this oil change, this first 5,000 miles that I've never went with this car, I've always changed it before 3 or at 3, is my motor was very quiet, it got great fuel mileage, maybe even like, it almost seems like I got about a, a mile more per gallon than what I did before with just the regular Ford synthetic stuff, so this Ultra Pennzoil Platinum is good. Mind you, before we get too far in this, this motor's been really quiet with the uh, the Pennzoil Platinum Ultra, it's been more quiet with that than any oil that I've had in it so far. I mean, that stuff really does seem to be really, 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 really good. You know what? I lied to you. I forgot. On this one, I chose to change it. I'm going to do the extended performance uh, high mileage uh, Mobile One. I forgot about that, so we're going to do Mobile One. I apologize. Go ahead and pull it. See what we got going on. got a little color to it but it's nice it's not slimy it doesn't smell like it smells like no fuel dilution at all in this oil I mean this oil still feels like new it's not gritty everything under my car has been resealed so that's why you see everything People ask me all the time, how come nothing's leaking on your car, but it's not normal to see Panther cars like that. Everything's been resealed. I resealed everything about 30,000 miles ago, like the Transpan. I thought I had a, bill, or a, a rear main seal leak, but it wasn't a rear main seal leak. It was just the oil pan needed to be resealed. And then uh, the front cover looked like it was leaking too, but it was all of it was just all oil pan. It wasn't even leaking anything. And then I did the rear main seal. The pinion bearing, I rebuilt the whole rear end, new axle seals in the back of this car, new brakes, new rotors, new bearings, new everything. And then um, had the exhaust and stuff done recently. And then I went through the front end, put all new power steering lines and stuff on it about a year ago. Yeah, a year ago. And you can already see the starting to get a, light, a little bit of light surface rust here. Um, I went through the front end of the upper control arm on that side because the, the ball joint was no good or it still, still, slowly started getting bad. And then this one will randomly give me an ABS code. Even though the wheel bearing or nothing was bad, the sensor in the, the magnetic wheel, the tooth wheel inside there was starting to act up. So I just replaced the bearing and the whole harness all the way back and no more problems at all. But this car is bone dry. It didn't, it didn't leak anything. It doesn't veer or sway or anything on the road. I mean, this, this car literally... just I mean it does have a light surface rust I mean it is this is Illinois but nothing rotten or rusted through anywhere it's just all right on the surface overall it's just a really good car I'm gonna come through and do lower control arms soon because the bushings are starting to roll in the corners but they're still tight they don't have any excessive movement or anything to them there's no play in them at all grab the back of the wheel and move it and it doesn't have any play so, yep, let's get the rest of this oil changed and get that uh, mobile in there. You know what? I made a mistake on this one. This is the one where I said I would do 5,000. It's not 3,000 miles. It's a 5,000 mile oil change. That's what this was. I always do three, and people ask me, well, can you show us what it looks like at five on your car? Because I baby this thing all the time, and it gets serviced all the time and taken care of. Every, anytime something goes wrong, it's fixed immediately. It's always getting flushed and cleaned out, so that's why this thing runs like a top. 
at 227,000 miles, it just runs, the sucker runs. I mean, it runs good, too. Um, so people ask me, well, since yours is in, in such great shape, show us what a 5,000 mile oil change looks like on your car. So I did, uh, this was actually 5,000 miles, three, so I'm, I apologize about that. I did make a mistake. And I still have, it says 22% oil life or something left on the thing, but I don't go by that. Uh, because I drive the car so much, I go by miles. So anyhow, I'm going to finish this up. And for the people that were wondering, that's how I modify the factory accumulator so it don't ever rot out again. I split the face, I cut a slot in it, and then I cut the top of it off. And then I put a couple, what are these, like 80 or 100 pound uh, zip ties around it. So this thing could breathe and that drain all the time and it'll never rot out. Well, it'll be five times longer doing it this way. This is my modification using the factory bracket. Okay, somebody asked me to do this. Drink, drink, drink. Well, let's get this old girl rocking. Alrighty, right on the money, baby. She gets flood moded, so put her on the gas. Crank. Let go of the gas. Okay, so 225,000. She purrs, purrs like a, like one of them Sanger sewing machines. Rolling, baby. Y'all be blessed. Let's see what, y'all want 3,000 or you want to see it at 5,000? Let me know in the comment section. Should we do another 5,000 one?